So, we stopped in January. We did the transfer window. We haven't bought anyone, but we lost some players. I'll, I'll tell you in the episode, I'll show you who we lost. We got the draw of the first knockout round of the Europa League and we drew Shakhtar. Now, today, in this episode, we're going to play Shakhtar and Partizan Belgrade. So the first, first leg of the qualifying round, well, not the qualifying round, the knockout round of the Europa Cup and then the Belgrade Derby against Partizan Home. By the way, we're top of the table too. Hey guys, it's Jerry D and welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory here on Football Manager 20. We are in Belgrade, Serbia with our mighty Restal Belgrade and since the last time you and I were together, a lot happened because um, there was a, like two months in, off camera that I did. So we started off with uh, beating Metalak home in the league for one goes from Pavkov with Abrez, Vokanovic and Kristovic. Then we've beaten Radnicki. 3-1 away and they scored in the 60th minute but we scored in the first minute in the 31st and 46th with Vukanovic. Then there was the winter break and we did a tour in the United Arab Emirates and we played against AGF with Ruhl nil, nil then we played against Augsburg and we won 3-2 goes from Rodriguez and Tedic with a brace then we played Levski and we won 3-0 goes from Tedic, Vukanovic and Pankov and last but not least we played Komlo last but not least in this tour um, and we've beaten them 7-0 goes from Radokai, Duzan Jovancic, Rodrigo Rodriguez with a brace, Stedic, Ivanic and Racic. <clears throat> then we played Pax again friendly we played it away and um, we won 3-1 goes from Rodriguez, Stedic and Racic. So I, I gave plenty of time to Rodriguez in, in these in these um, friendlies. Then we started off the league again. We won 2 0 home against Vozdovak, goes from Pankov and Jovancic. And then we've beaten Vojvodina 2 1 away. Now they scored in the 17th minute. Then they missed a penalty. Stankovic saved the penalty. And then we scored in the 39th minute and in the 87th minute with Volic and Rodriguez. Now the transfer market is over. We haven't got any players in, but we have some problems. We lost. Sanogo. Sanogo was on loan for a year and a half and we, we lost him. They wouldn't give him back to us. So, um, and I didn't, I tried to find a, a midfielder that could make the difference. I placed a bit on a Colombian guy who that didn't want to come. So, and I said, no, nah, I mean, if, if I'm not getting someone as long as it doesn't do the difference, right? So we, 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 we lost Sanogo. And then... Stankovic, Alexander Stankovic, signed for Brighton. He's leaving at the end of the season on a free. Um, he wouldn't, I mean, I went to offer him a contract, but Brighton, Newcastle, and uh, some other team were, were like, offered him a contract too. And obviously he chose to go in the Premiership. So for the next year, we lost Stankovic. Pe um, teams were lurking around Kristovic and Vukanovic. Um, we ha I had to offer Kristovic a, a new contract because... Um, few teams from the Premiership, they were looking at him, Newcastle, um, I, Newcastle, Cardiff, I think, so, yeah, but luckily he didn't accept, I mean, the offer didn't, wasn't, wasn't, luckily, not he didn't accept, because I refused the, the bid, obviously, because um, the highest bid was like 3.9 mil, so I, I'm not going to leave him for 3.9 mil, but he didn't get, he didn't get upset or anything, he just wanted a new contract, which is fair, so I gave him a new contract. Now, as I told you in, in the intro, we drew Shakhtar Donetsk. Now, Shakhtar Donetsk it was was not the best draw that we could get, but it's not even the worst. And we're starting off, Shakht uh, we're starting off um, away in this round, in this first uh, first knockout round. So this is um, this is what we're going with. Um, let's have a look at the tactics. This is the team that we are going with. Pro uh, the, the only problem is that I am Kumik is injured and I couldn't register Radokai. So um, so now I have to play Ivanic on the right and uh, Simeone behind Kristovic and Tedic. But that should not be um, the end of the world. So we're going with Stankovic, Pavlovic, Bobic and Pankov, Ivanic, Vulic, Racic and uh, Vukanovic. Simeone behind Kristovic and Tedic. Simeone has been constantly 
um, topping the the training cards. He's constantly he's the best. Um, play, he's a player who trains best and everything. Uh, he's still far away, so he's not um, Euro Cup material, I think. But um, obviously, this guy is still young, so we have to give him some chance. And why not? Why not give him chance now? Now, what about Shakhtar? I think we are um, very on on a very same level, Shakhtar and us. So it's a 50-50 game, I think. It's a 50-50 tie. So hopefully, if we manage at least maybe score a few in this match, we were since we're away. It should be. It should be. We should do it. We should do it. I think we should do it. But anyway, it's football manager, so you never know what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> That's football manager. So anyway, Vukanovic loses possession there. I mean, Shakhtar in real life they lost to Inter Milan in the semi-final of the Euro Cup this year, so it's not like it's it's not a, an easy team to beat, but we'll try. They've got good players, Tyson. They've got a lot of Brazilians. Ivanic with the corner crosses it in. The header goes wide. The header goes wide. That was a good opportunity. So let's demand more. We haven't had a shot on target yet, out of the four shots. But we're uh, bossing possession with 63%. Racic to Tedic. Gives it to Vulic, who opens on the right, on the left to Ivanic. Ivanic enters the box. He crosses it in. Come on, yes, Vukanovic scores. The header from Alexa Vukanovic with his seventh goal of the season. A lovely assist by Marko Ivanic, Mirko Ivanic. And puts us in front. What a cross, what a header, what a goal. Look at that, Ivanic stops, takes his time. Crosses in a perfect cross to Vukanovic, who all he had to do was tap it in. And now, a kick of highlight, which is never good. Never good. Oh, intercept the pass. Ivanic intercepts the pass, opens up on the right to Vukanovic, who starts his run, but momentarily he lost possession. He gets it back and plays it to Pankov, who plays it to Vulic, which again. Finds Vukanovic on the right. Now Vukanovic needs to cross. Instead, he gives it to Racic, who crosses it in. Oh my god, Ivanic, what did you miss there? What have you missed there? Marcos with the corner. We sort of clear it momentarily out, and it's a pen. It's a pen. Ken Stankovic save this pen junior morais and he hits the post he hits the post okay Ooh, saved by the post there come on we're nearing the end of the first half and that's it that's it first half done we're winning excellent the effort was excellent we could have scored more but we'll take it. I'll take it. Ivanic with the free kick from the right crosses it in. The keeper punches it out. They can counter with Junior Moraes. The guy who missed the pen enters the box from the right hand side. He crosses it in. You find this Miley who tries to cross, but he has the side of the net there. Come on. Come on, there's good teams like Borussia Dortmund, Ajax, Schalke for Arsenal. I believe there's Liverpool as well. So it's not going to be an easy competition. Another interception, this time by Simeone, who gives it to Tedic. Tedic can run on the right, enters the box. He needs to cross. Instead, he chooses to shoot. <sighs> Marcos Alonso. With the free kick gives it to Tyson and what a goal from Tyson. What a goal from Tyson. Oh, this allowed. This allowed. Why? Oh Jesus, they had like one, two, three, four, five players of side <laughs> interfering with the keeper's vision there. So yeah. Was offside. 
corner from Marcos. The header this time. Hood, Wesley Hood. Heads it in. In the far post. Fair play. They've been piling on pressure in the second half. So. Still, 1-1 one, one away. It's not a bad result. At this stage, it's important not to lose now. Come on. Fukanovic gives it to Babic, who opens. Oh my god, oh my god. Come on, Kristovic, Kristovic enters. Oh, come on, Tedic. He can't miss. Tedic can't miss. Tedic can't miss. And he doesn't miss. And we take the lead again in the 83rd minute. What a tandem. Kristovic and Tedic. Look at this. Babic gives it to Ivanic immediately to Vulic Vulic first time pass to Kristovic Kristovic enters the box he finds Tedic all alone face to face with the keeper three meters away and boom wow <laughs> come on can we keep can we keep this result now or maybe even score another one come on Racic again Tedic all alone enters the box Tedic tries to shoot the keeper gets to it this time and they even avoid the corner but we're piling on the pressure now Rakic, Racic, Vulic, Simeone, tried to find Vukanovic there, now Bolbat, intercept the pass, good, good interception there, Racic to Vulic, oh look at, look at how we're playing guys, first time passing, oh my god, Simeone, come on, come on, come on, we should have done better there, he had options in the middle. Ivanic with the corner. Again, Tedic with the header. Let's praise the lads. Come on. This is not looking good. Ball, but on the right. Past his opponent, enters the box. Ball, but is now trying to cross. He crossed and ties in with the header. Scores his eighth goal of the season. 87 minutes on the clock and they've managed to score the second goal and i've just praised the lads <laughs> i can't change the shout now but that's it probably 95 minutes and there it is end of the match i mean we played really well we could have won by at least two goals here um we're a bit clumsy when it came to to the attacking department, finalizing. But anyway, 2-2, I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. 2-2 two, two away against Shakhtar. No problem. I'll take it all the way. And now, give me two seconds and I'll come back for the partisan game. Okay, so here we are for the partisan... Uh, not part... Yeah, partisan Belgrade match. Uh, but I wanted to say the Belgrade derby, but partisan Belgrade... So anyway, this is the formation we're going with. Stankovic, Pavlovic, Babic and Pankov, Radokai, Vulic, Racic and Vukanovic, Ivanic behind Kristovic and Tedic. Now, we are already topping the table with a game in hand over Partizan. So winning here today would be excellent, basically. Actually, we're topping the table with the same points, but with the game in hand. So And we already smashed them away. Oh, Ivanic. I like your style, mate. Good try. Ivanic with the corner. The stadium is full up. That's good to see. Money is coming in. <laughs> By the way, I'm I'm doing a course, the, the coaching badge. The board accepted to sponsor me with a coaching badge. I tried to improve the training facilities. They wouldn't they wouldn't listen. I tried to improve the data analysis facilities. They wouldn't listen. And they like their money. They, they like their money. Come on, nick it off them, come on. Come on, Tedic, Tedic, Tedic. Play it away, play, no, no. Pen, 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 pen. Pavkov, come on, my Pavkov. 15 minutes on the clock, and we have a golden opportunity to open the score with Pankov. There it is. Radovan Pankov, he scored 10 goals this season, and he's a center back. <laughs> so not bad for a center back. Let's praise, let's praise the lads. So now we are three points clear with the game in hand on Partizan. And that's the way I like it. 
Ivanic with the corner. They head it out. Pavlovic is the first on the loose ball, but he loses the ball. And now Shekik. Oh, Vulic almost got the ball there. Sadik. Come on. Urozovic. Oh, lovely pass there. Lakcevic, he shoots! And it goes over the bar. Come on. We don't need to be nervous. Who? Oh my god, Radokai. Oh, man. I'm gonna put Pavkov in. And Kumic is like, he's, he's out for like two months. From five weeks to two months. So, it's not good. It's not good. Partisan here. With their black and white shirt. Pavkov intercepts the, the pass. Passes to Vulic. Vulic opens on Kristovic. Who gives it to Racic. Back to Vulic. Vulic. Plays it back to Pavlovic. Pavlovic all the way back. To Stankovic. And uh, we try to go again. With Vulic. Who loses the ball to Nacho. And now Sadiq is face to face with the keeper. And Stankovic. This keeper Stankovic. We lost him guys. I really like this keeper. Young. Good. We lost him. Obviously. He was lured. Into the premiership. So. Vulic commits a foul. Come on. Can we score? Just before half time here. That would be golden. Vulic crosses it in. Come on. Racic crosses it again. Come on. Come on. Ooh, Kristovic with the header. Over the bar. End of the first half. 51% ball possession. So possession is quite... Um, it's quite balanced between the two teams. We had six shots on target. They had three. We scored one. They scored none. Yeah, let's give them a bit of a morale boost. And off we go for the second half. Let's demand more now. Because one nil is not enough, obviously. And I want to win this match to open that three-point gap with a game in hand. Demand more. Come on, boys. Come on. Just one goal more. Vukanovic is dying, 68% there. Nacho. Oh, the cross there, we clear it out. Ivanic, come on, come on, Ivanic, come on. Oh, what a pass, what a pass to Kristovic, who enters the box all alone. The keeper saves it into a corner. That had to be a goal, Kristovic. Number 99, Kristovic had to score there. But Ivanic with the corner, this is not over yet. Babic gets the loose ball, loses it, loses it in a very clumsy way, and now Urosevic on the run, but we block him, Jesus Christ, Ivanic with the free kick from the right, he crosses it in, and Tedic with his 17th goal of the season, Slobodan Tedic, the guy we loaned in from Man City, come on, 2-0, now we should praise the lads. We should praise the lads now. And this is two out of two wins against Partizan this season. I'm gonna remove Vukanovic. I know I don't have anyone to play there, but I need him for the next match. Evanich we put Rodriguez in. And that's it. That's it. We won the Belgrade Derby. 2-0 goes from Pankov in the 16th minute and then Slobodan Tedic in the 68th minute. Unfortunately, Radokai got injured. But for the rest, all went well. And now we have three days rest. And then we play the second leg of the first knockout round of the Europa Cup against Shakhtar. Um... Radokai, 4-3 weeks. 
Yep, Radokai for three weeks. So I'm not gonna do anything off camera, guys, because the next match is Shakhtar. So um, in the next episode, we're gonna come for Shakhtar and TSC. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did so, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. My name is Jerry D, and until next time, bye bye. Thank you.